breakfast in a minute and I'm gonna do some work actually. I'm, I'm gonna try and talk you guys through what I'm doing a little bit. Man, that coffee looks good. Check out that. That is like, that is possibly the most perfect coffee I've ever seen. I feel like I could, like, I feel like I'm going down a weird rabbit hole here where I could end up living my entire life on social media and just like snapping and Instagramming everything. That must have like 15 people on my team, which is awesome. And obviously though, I built this business without that. I, I did it on my own. Um, I had to kind of do all of the different tasks myself initially and so you kind of if you look at where I'm at now and you're like oh but I don't have all these people I can't afford to pay all these people right now so therefore I can't like be successful like you can or it's like no 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 I did it all on my own for three four five years and I just had to you know play every role in the business in order to get to a point where I could then pay who I need for support but even having said that like well before I was paying myself a salary I was paying I hired an assistant and I hired a house cleaner and various different things where I just felt like that's not a good use of my time um, so with my primary assistant that's what I was saying with my primary assistant Mandy and Kelly I have they have a daily task list from me with the other with the others it's more like when something comes up um, which does a lot but with Mandy and Kelly it's a daily task list and so the day before like now is Wednesday right now and so I'll start writing the list for Thursday. Um, and I'll just put things on the list as I go throughout the day. So then by the time I get to the end of my day, and usually I'm online late in the evening, then I'll, I'll pretty much have their whole assignment list for the next day already written out. All right, we're getting social media serious. Oh, it's such a cool hashtag, actually. New hashtag, social media serious. All right, I'm gonna put that on Facebook right now. Or I should put that on Twitter. trying to do some work. I'm like actually so bad at staying focused when I'm working. Um, all right, so let's see here. I've got a little note to my, it's kind of what I do, right? Like I'll work in blocks where if I'm writing my daily blog or creating a set piece of content, then I'm pretty disciplined at not jumping into other screens or doing other things or checking my phone or anything. I'll actually put a timer on um, and I'm like looking at my emails while I'm talking. I'll put a timer on and I'll just go into like a black screen on my computer. It's obviously distraction free. And I guess it's somewhat conditioned or trained in me over the years from using that program for like 15, 20 years where my mind knows that as soon as I go in there, it's like it's time to write. And I'll, I'll use, okay, I'll show you something else I use. You work for a block of 25 minutes, okay? And then at the end of that 25 minutes, so you start the timer, at the end of that 25 minutes, you um, have to have a five minute break. To just do whatever but then when the five minute break goes off you go straight into the next block of 25 minutes and i've been that's like my my productivity thing right like i work in 25 minute blocks i've been doing that for years and so when i write my daily blog i put on the timer for 25 minutes and then i go into the black screen and i write and i'm focused and i'm not jumping into emails or phones or anything else at all i have all my notifications turned off on my phone i'm just kind of i try to spend no more than five minutes um just checking in on my emails just to make sure is there anything that I actually need to attend to right now. So I'm going to just send an email to my publicist actually about Gary B because obviously I'm obsessed with him and talking about him all day long to everybody. Um, but I was speaking to my publicist Esther yesterday about the fame that I want to create and where I'm going and the direction I want to take and how it really is kind of like a blend between being a celebrity personality like kind of in a I guess like I keep saying like a mixture of Kim Kardashian mixed with Alan mixed with Tony Robbins which is a really weird mixture I mean and, and content wise nothing at all like Kim Kardashian but more so that like birds I look into how she lives her life so I was talking to, to Esther about this yesterday and about what I want to achieve and she had some amazing ideas and connections which is cool um, and one of the things that I was telling her about was wanting to do this online show and, and basically um, build that up eventually to being like a serious like actual TV show reality show and I forgot to tell her like at the moment I want to loosely base it on the way Gary Vee does the Daily Vee so um, I'm just going to mention that to her so she I guess understands more the concept that I'm going for. So my business is, is me now it's not like oh I'm an online business coach or something like that and the business is just me that's it full stop here at the end and then I've got the different you know different elements or different streams of my business that go on around that so the online business is one part of that which is obviously a lot of media content um, a lot of free content and then also paid content with my online products and programs 
and I need to remove some of the time input that I'm putting into that because there's other businesses that need to be built this year around who I am. So if you kind of imagine like a mind map, it's me in the center as the personality, as the business, as the brand. And then there's like the online business, there's the media, um, social media and the media and um, well, conventional media as well. And then there's going to be like the gym gear line, which is, which is really simple, right? Like just tops and stuff with cool sayings on them. Stationary line, um, YouTube show for my daughter, which is not, I guess, really so much my thing, but it's connected. And there's a few other things as well, right? Which I like some um, fat loss products for women and, and just a whole bunch of different ideas that I've got. So for me to be able to invest my time and energy into building these other businesses, I've got to be able to, to remove myself somewhat from what I'm doing with um, with my current business, with the online stuff, and more so not from like the active content side of it because that's just part of my brand anyway, more so like reinventing the wheel. So one of those things is really nailing the funnel, the automated sales process behind the scenes of the online products and programs. And that's just one of those things that's like, I wanna bash my head on the table when I think about it because I just hate doing it, I don't enjoy it, I don't find it creative, I just find it like something I've gotta do that I resist doing. But that's what I'm going to do today. And I've got a marketing manager who's, who does, who, I, when I say I've got to do it, it pretty much means I've got to email him what I want. So I'm being a total diva about it because he's going to be the one who actually puts it together. Um, but I will feel really, really good this week if I can get to the end of the week and say that I've nailed that and that those funnels are just up and running and they're done. So maybe I'm going to just message him and see if he can even jump on a call but it would be good to talk obviously and just like clarify rather than you know going back and forth for like two more days on Facebook messages so I just said are you free to talk um, I might add a comment about the funnels oh okay now I see he's already messaged me earlier this morning and it wasn't loading and he says I can finish the new funnel now talk soon all right so it'd be good to grab him on the phone and just we'll see if he writes back that's like that's really going to be my big project for today what else is going on today just having a little look here okay so the other you know something i've sat down and looked at recently and thought about which i, I really think you've got to do from time to time is just really write down all the kind of big things or also little things that are hanging over me right now where it's just like an energetic drain because you're like oh my god i know i've got to do that like the example i just gave and then you're just not doing it not doing it not doing it and it probably wouldn't even take that long if you actually did it so i wrote myself a little list the other day of those things um of the things that are hanging over me one of which is the funnel and getting facebook ads driven to that which josh is doing another one was getting all my book shit started. So I have over 40 books on Amazon, but I've got a ton more that I want to publish as well. Look at this. E each file here is a book that's complete, right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, and some of them are even series within the folder. Anyway, but there's at least like 12 or 15 books there that are actually complete books. But all that needs doing is for the chapters to be collated. So I, I tend to do each chapter individually and they just be collating. And I've had that organized like that for months and I just haven't done it. And some of them I've even had the covers designed and they could already be live on Amazon and I've just not done it. So this is another example of something I just need to like kick my own ass around and get done. But let's give Josh a quick call and let's sort out these funnels. But um, so I wanted to check in on the funnels because I just want to make sure that we don't end up going back and forth for a few more days. And I, I would, now that the launch is over, um, I would love to get the funnels just nailed this week so that we can obviously start testing and measuring the response to that. Um, that's a really high priority. So I know I gave you the emails, but just to see if you've got any questions or if you can just run past for me where you're at with it. We had a countdown timer on that page when they would click on the funnel and basically the offer was you're only going to get the half price offer for the membership program within the time frame of those first five offers. Can you make a note when you look in the Rich Chick campaign to look for those emails and replicate those also? Maybe we need to add in an extra bonus or something because you can, or like if you go to the regular sales page, they already get half price for the first month anyway. That's an ongoing offer for a new member. My brain instantly starts melting. I can feel it already. Like I just freeze like I do in the spotlights because I don't know how to make a decision around it. So I guess it's kind of 
like I'd, I might just hand it over to you to choose which order to put products in. Well, I, I want, from a what I want point of view for my audience, and I, I will let you go in a sec, um, because I know it's like a lot of content to take in, a lot of info. But from a what I want point of view, I want, I really want to commit to this because I really want the online business just rolling in. We might, like, we might even go back to doing a quick weekly call at the start of the week just to make sure we've got traction. Okay, thank you so much for your time. All right, you too. Bye. Oh my God, that's like literally something that I've been avoiding having a conversation about for like two years. I'm, I'm not even kidding. And that was 26 minutes, but like it honestly was more painful than a 22 hour labor in a way, in a different way. Um, all right, that's like a major project done. And, and, and see, like I didn't even have to actually do anything. I just have to have a phone call and then try and like release control over it and put it in somebody else's hands but give them the vision of what I want but not try and like manage or control freak every part of it. Done. 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 Um, I'm gonna, I was gonna write my daily blog now which I might do super quickly because in about 15 minutes or 20 minutes I gotta head to the gym. I'm gonna go get my ass kicked which is good because I need it after that brain frying morning. Um, I can't, I don't know how people can work, particularly content creation and talking, like all throughout the day without having a workout or something. I mean, I already did Bikram Yoga in the morning, but that was like 6 a.m. That was days ago. So for me, going and doing the workout, um, I often train around 10.30. Now I'm going to train at 12.30 today. It's not like, oh, like, okay, yeah, of course, I want to be in fantastic shape. That's probably why I train, but it's also like energetic. Like I need that, right? Because otherwise, if I just kept sitting here and working, or even went home and tried to work, um, I'm going to just become less and less effective because you just can't keep operating at this level of thinking and doing so many different things at once. Like I really have to learn to let go and to take my foot off the for stopping a control freak because this stuff could have been underway um, a year ago or even longer ago, right? Like even before I got worked with Frank Kern, but I could have set up funnels if I had have just taken the control freak side of me out of it and let somebody else do it. So with my books, like all those books that I keep not doing because it's like quite a lot of work to collate, why am I telling myself that I need to collate it? I have an editor and I have a book publisher. Um, hello, they should be doing it. So what I'm gonna do after I do my work and do my sauna is I'm gonna like, um, overload my editor with all of those books and tell her to put them together and then after that I'm going to do being a mum stuff and go get the kids and I'm sure I'll be online again later today I think I might do a spontaneous live free call today in the evening that's it